This hotel in Denver isn't a bed and breakfast, it's a bud and breakfast. Every day is a different 420 happy hour. The owner is former Wall Street attorney Joel Schneider, who's been smoking pot since he was a teenager. And when Colorado legalized recreational marijuana, he decided to go west and create the Disney World of Cannabis. When Joel Schneider first joined Colorado's green wave of ganjapreneurs, he overdid it. I had a tour company, a lounge. I had a bus, a newspaper, a radio station. So you went crazy. So I acquired these companies and I find out that really there's no revenue. Meantime, Schneider was commuting from New York and staying in a hotel where he discovered he could not smoke pot even though it was legal to buy. So he sold all of his other businesses and took a hundred grand of his own money to create a place where out of town visitors over the age of 21 could enjoy marijuana on site, which is allowed in a bed and breakfast. This is $3.99 a night. Oh, wow. Schneider's first bed and breakfast gives new meaning to high end. So we've had our share of football players and musicians. Uh, we had Julian Molly here um, two weeks ago, three, three weeks ago, we sat and played at that piano. But Joel Schneider has hit several potholes along the way to success. He tried to create canna camping experiences, but the leases fell through. He provided free marijuana to paying guests, but was then accused of selling pot without a license. And most importantly, he had trouble raising money or even keeping a bank account. When we first started, I couldn't get a bank. Chase closed me down. I went to Square. You know, the, after two weeks, they held $19,000 of my money for, for three months saying I was a risky business. Oh yeah. Schneider eventually took his company public with a penny stock that was delisted, and he had to fire workers who were more interested in partying than serving. But two years in, Bud and Breakfast is making money. We do about 110000 a month. This, even though marijuana is still illegal in the eyes of the federal government, which could shut him down. There's definitely stress in this job. You, it should be a lot more fun. I'm, I, you know, I would be <laughs> lying if I said I wasn't stressed out. Uh, but I see the big picture. Uh, I really do see the big picture. And it's, I'll get through this. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.